It's just a swing knob. Um, the swing is going to be based on the, the grid. So in the basic mode here, higher values are going to shift back every other note. So if I create another event like here and another one like here, uh, but first I have to remove swing because editing the clip is bad unless you want to transform then what you've edited. And you always have to be careful about what's selected. This is not a, a feature of my device, it's just how it is in MIDI tools. So you can see we can shift back the odd, like the odd number, the notes that occur on odd number kind of grid points. So that's basic. And then it also has this advanced mode, which basically gives you as many sliders as there are grid positions. And it lets you shift each one of those independently. So let me actually go back to phase pattern and start with something super simple. 16th notes. With a little bit of velocity variation so we don't go crazy. So with this, I can shift the position of each of these independently. And the number of, again, the sliders are not, there's the number of sliders is not the number of notes, although it is in this case, it's the grid. So we're just, it's almost like what we're doing is warping the spacing between the grid lines here. So this is basically a really cool way to get humanization in your clips. And again, this is a free free device, link is down below. So that's feel.